2003 Saab 9-3 linear automatic with the Azen AW55 transmission. No shifting in drive, reverse, manual mode, nothing. Did a little bit of research and found that it's probably solenoids. So to get it apart, you have to take the battery out and the fuse box move out of the way. And then the best bet is make yourself some room by removing the charge air hose that goes from the uh, intercooler to the throttle body. Gives yourself some more room. Then remove the, drain the coolant and move the lower radiator hose out. There's a couple other power steering lines and uh, transmission lines that are hard lines that if you look closely you can see there's like a, uh, a ADEL clamp that bolts it to the subframe. Take that, loosen that up so that you can have a little bit of play. And then very carefully get all nine of the T40 Torx bolts. There's nine of them total. And uh, they are hard to get to, and the best bet is spend a little bit of more, spend a little bit of time to make as much room as possible so that you can get a straight shot on every single one of these. I ended up having to use a very short 3/8 drive adapter as well as a 3-inch one, and then a, a couple long 6-inch ones, and then an elbow or a universal joint. I actually had a spare transmission and engine here that I used as a reference. Here's the, here's the uh, solenoid cover. As you can see, there's the bolts. There's actually nine of them. This bottom right one from the front was the hardest to get to, but not too bad. And then these on this side, hard to see, were actually very rusty. There's a Long Island, New York car, but as you can see, each of these torques, there was one of them that was really, really rough. And I was like, I actually tapped it in with a hammer just to make sure the T40, but definitely invest in a good Torx kit. Any rate, once the cover is off, and it takes quite a bit of finagling to get it off, you know, obviously drain the transmission fluid beforehand for a long time. Once you get it out, you, uh, I actually noticed there was a little bit of what in the Toyota 4Runner forums, they call it pink milkshake, um, that the transmission cooler and the, and the, uh, coolant can mix a little bit and also make sure you order the mobile one uh, ATF type 4 you can also get Toyota type 4 and there's also a, some other brands out there but make sure it's type 4 specific to this transmission any anyway, rate got that out I already got the solenoids out and they're gonna be uh, cleaned in the ultrasonic cleaner and uh, there's the there it is underneath and it is kind of a nightmare to get that cover out I, I've seen other YouTube videos and they didn't really say how hard it was to get that cover out but basically I pulled it all the way back and then I think I kind of turned it 45 degrees one way or the other way pushed on these lines enough so that I could definitely get it to clear and then there's those hard hard lines I was telling you about that yeah I loosened one so I can get a little bit of play in that um, and there's the transmission cooler line it's disconnected and that is it we will put it back together and hope that the solenoids work if not I'm gonna have to use either some rebuilt ones or another transmission